Hello everyone, welcome to another video presentation by the Adams County Historical Society. My name is Larry Korchik. I'm a licensed battlefield guide here at Gettysburg National Military Park and a member of the Adams County Historical Society. So, if you see what you like, push the subscribe button on the bottom of your screen to see more videos presented by the Adams County Historical Society. Right now, we are standing at the famous Stone Law on Cemetery Ridge. We're in the uh, essentially the center of the Union battle line for July 2nd and July 3rd. And to my immediate rear in the distance, you can see the Kadori Farm. Uh, it lies today along the Emmitsburg Road as it did at the time of the battle. The farm looked a little different at the time of the battle. That is not the original barn. But uh, the house is, for the better part, original here at the time of the battle. And that, that home will be in the vortex of battle on both July 2nd and on July 3rd. On July 2nd, as part of General Longstreet's Confederate assault, Georgians, under the command of General Rand's Wright, will uh, push through the home of Mr. Kadori, the owner of that farm, and swirl around it to attack the Union soldiers in position on Cemetery Ridge, only to be ultimately repulsed and driven back with heavy losses. But the same farm will also be in the vortex of battle on July 3rd. Uh, we know it as Pickett's Charge, that famous Confederate assault on July 3rd involving over 12,500 Confederate infantry, and in particular, Men of General George Pickett's division will move through and around Mr. Godori's farm buildings to assault the Union position here on Cemetery Ridge. Three Confederate brigades, the brigade of General James Kemper, will move to the south side of the barn, and um, the brigades of uh, General Garnett and General Armistead will move to the north side of the Godori farm, moving upon uh, Cemetery Ridge in the Union position. Okay, today the Godori Farm is part of Gettysburg National Military Park, one of close to uh, over a hundred historic farm structures maintained by the National Park Service on the battlefield. So thank you for tuning in and don't forget to push that subscribe button.